morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to 15 Hawkeville Terrace Eastwood. Situated here, right on the fringe of the city, living at this address has so many benefits. You will be missing those frustrating traffic jams to and from work. In fact, if you work in the city, why not ride a bike? I was speaking to the owners a few moments ago. They reminded me that they stroll to the local restaurants such as the La Vista and the Urban, as well as the numerous factory outlets located on Glen Osmond Road where shopaholics splurge to their heart's content. This is, clearly the, this is clearly the best of the best in secure investment opportunity. My name is Jasmina Kibelik, your auctioneer, and it is with a great deal of professional pride that our company, St Dominic's Real Estate, have been favoured with instruction to represent the vendor. Based on the amount of registered parties who have attended this property over the three weeks of the marketing campaign, and the size of the wonderful audience here today indicates a strong interest and expectation. So I wish you all the best with your spirited and competitive bidding in a few moments' time. But before I call for your bidding, I shall need to touch upon the terms and conditions associated with the sale by auction. The prescribed standard conditions, contracts and form ones have been on display today for 30 minutes and three clear business days and are summarised as follows. Any person may bid in person or buy their proxy subject to the conditions of auction, and all bidding is subject to the reserve price. I will only accept a bid if the bidder displays an allocated number, and I may make up to three vendor bids below the reserve price and announce as the vendor's bid. The highest bidder at or above the reserve price will be the successful purchaser, and no further bids will be accepted after the fall of the hammer. The successful bidder will complete the contract and pay the specified deposit, and cooling off rights do not apply to a sale by auction. The legal description is Certificate Title Volume 5232, Folio 306 within the Burnside Council, including all fixtures and fittings, all fixed floor coverings, light fittings, window treatments, and stainless steel appliances. Excluded are the vendor's own personal fetch, shutters, and all loose furniture. Settlement date is the 28th of June 2009, and upon the signing of the contract, the property is at the risk of the purchaser, and insurance must be taken out. Are there any questions? Thank you for the question, sir. The future installation of, air, of sun shades will require council consent, and you will have to have done your own research in regard to this. But there is no doubt that sunshades will be a good idea at the rear of the home. Best of luck with your bidding here today, sir. Excuse me, is there anything in the, about the home in relation to contamination or what in activity I should be aware of? Thank you for the question, sir. All relevant documents in regard to this property have been on display today for the, have been on display for the prescribed time, including the vendor's declaration, and we have no information to suggest any contamination or wine and activity. Best of luck with your bidding here today. With the historic charm of the early 20th century, combined with the convenience of today's modern society, this home is perfect for almost anyone in any time of their lives. Whether you're the first time home buyer, an investor, or even a retiree looking to downsize, this is an opportunity you cannot miss. They say all good things in life come in threes, and this home is no exception with its three bedrooms, three car garaging, and the fact that it's only three minutes from the city. What more could you ask for? Plus the added features of a courtyard with a spa, a spacious gourmet kitchen, and an open family and dining room with charming views of the garden at the rear. This could be your dream home. And a quick reminder that I will call for the bidding three times before the fall of the hammer. And if you aren't a successful bidder and you have missed out on your chance, well, I'm sad to say that if that is three strikes and it's batter out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been quoting around the $500,000 mark and we believe that this is a fair and reasonable value and that an opening bid should be, could be within that range. I 
I am in your hands, an open bid and offer, please. May I suggest the bidding? 440 bid number 22. Thank you very much and welcome to the bidding here today. 440 with bid number two, 22, looking for a $20,000 rise. Currently here, 440 with bid number 2, and I'm looking for another 20. First call for 440 with bid number 22. 460. 460 bid number 9, thank you very much and welcome to the bidding here today. 460 with bid number 9 here on my right, looking for another 20 to 480. Currently here with 460 with bid number 9. 10,000. 10, 470, sir, confirming that. Bid number 22 with 470. 470 with bid number 22. 480, sir. 480, sir, with bid number... 480 with the sir here on my right, bid number 9. 480. First call for 480. 